hello and welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to show you how to create zoom transitions both zoom in and zoom out transition in adobe premiere pro so let's dive into the topic so i have these two stock video clips in my timeline and i'm going to apply the zoom in and zoom out transitions uh, for these two video clips so first of all create a new adjustment layer create new item adjustment layer and place this adjustment layer right between the two video clips go to the edit point and go forward in time for about 5 frames or 6 frames and adjust the adjustment layer to that point same way go backward in time for about 5 frames from the edit point and adjust your adjustment layer to that frame duplicate this uh, adjustment layer to video track 3 and drag this adjustment layer at the video track 2 to the edit point so that we have 5 frames of adjustment layer right above the video clip 2. So now go to the FX panel and search for replicate effect and apply this effect on the adjustment layer in video track 2. Go to the effect controls and set the count value to 3. Now again go to the FX panel and search for mirror effect and apply this effect on the same adjustment layer in video track 2. Go to the effect controls and set the reflection center value. 2280 1280 is not good since we are seeing a line in between so i am setting the reflection center to 1279 comma 540 again apply this mirror effect one more time and set the reflection angle to 90 degrees and adjust the reflection center value y value of the reflection center 719 again apply this mirror effect one more time and set the reflection angle to 180 degrees and adjust the x value of the reflection center to 640. Apply the mirror effect one last time and set the reflection angle to 270 degrees and set the y value of the reflection center to 360. So now again go to the FX panel and search for transform effect and apply this transform effect into the adjustment layer at video track 3. Now go to the FX panel and check in the uniform scale and set the scale value to 300 percentage. So now create a keyframe and move this keyframe to the very end of the adjustment layer and create another keyframe for scale with the value set to 100 and move this keyframe to the very start of the adjustment layer. Get down below, uncheck the use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to somewhere between 180 to 360. So I am setting it to 330. So I will have more motion blur. Yeah, that's it. We have the zoom in effect. You can also easy ease the keyframes and adjust the velocity of the keyframes according to your wish. So, for the zoom out effect, I am going to delete this uh, transform effect on the adjustment layer at video track 3 and I am going to move the adjustment layer in the video track 2 to its left right above the first video clip as shown. And now go to the adjustment layer in the video track 3 and apply the transform effect again set the uniform scale and set the value to 300. Create a keyframe at the start and go to the very end of the adjustment layer and set the value to 100 and move this keyframe to the very end of the adjustment layer. Again get down below and uncheck the use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 330. Easy is the keyframes and change the velocity graph as you wish. Yeah, there you go, you have the zoom out effect. This reflection angle values remains the same for every resolution but the reflection center values for each sequence with the different resolutions uh, will change. I will give the reflection center values uh, here for different resolutions. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please do like this video. And I would like to ask you to subscribe my channel. That would help me a lot in growing this channel. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in another tutorial. This is Raudran signing off.